Okay, uh, we got the problem. <coughs> uh, this is the problem. Oh, uh, this is the problem. Uh, find the value of sine of uh, 105 degrees. The condition, no calculator use. Okay, uh, let's try to bring out the solution. Sine of 105 degrees, it can be written as the sine of the quantity 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. 60 plus 45 is actually 105. Okay. And uh, without the calculator use, uh, we do not know the value of uh, sine, no, the value of 16.45. But uh, 16.45 are actually special angles. Before uh, we brought out the values of this one by using our knowledge of special angle, I will try to bring out an equation that is the sine of the quantity A plus B. The expansion of this can be expanded to sine of A, cosine of B, plus cosine of A, sine of B. Uh, this is the so-called sine of a sum of two angles. Okay. Uh, meaning the sine of the first angle plus the second angle is the, the sine of the first, cosine of the second, cosine of the first, plus the sine of the second. And so... Since we, we do not use a calculator here, I uh, will try to produce the value of the sine and cosine values of the two angles by using our knowledge of special angles. If I will try to brought out the special angles, the special angles are actually two right triangles, the 30-60 right triangle and the 45 by 45 right triangle. Uh, if you have studied mathematics, uh, these special angles, we know the values of this by heart. Okay? Uh, so I place it here. For special angles, the sine of 30 and cosine of 60 is one half. You should memorize this one. Sine of 30 degrees and cosine of 60 degrees are actually the same, and the value is actually one half. And sine of 45 degrees and the cosine of 45 degrees is uh, 1 over square root of 2. Uh, 1 over square root of 2 is actually, this is 0 0.707. So from this uh, memorized values for special angles, we could draw the two right triangles now, and actually we could brought out or bring out the value, the needed values for sine A, cosine of B, cosine of B, and sine of B. So from here, if sine of 30 degrees is one half, okay, this will be 30, so this will be 60. And from that uh, memorized value, sine of 30 is actually one half. So considering 30, this is opposite side. So sine of 30 is uh, one half, so the, it should be one over two. Okay, that is one half. So if we try to compute for the other side, it will be the square root of 2 minus the square root of 1, which is the square root of 3. So this side here is the square root of 3. Okay? Considering it 30, 60 right triangle. For the 45 degree right triangle, the a 45 and a 45, because a 45 and a 45 is actually equivalent to 90. And from that, I place it that the value of sine and cosine is actually 1 over square root of 2. So this is uh, 1, the hypotenuse should be square root of 2, and the adjacent side, considering both angles because they are the same, it will still be 1 over square root of 2. So from the first right triangle, uh, we could take out the value of sine of 60. Sine of 60 will be the opposite side of 60, which is square root of 3 over 2. So actually sine of 60 degrees from here, because uh, uh, we don't have a calculator, right? So pra, we could derive the value from the resulting two right triangles. So sine of 60 will be this side here, over this. It is square root of 3 over 2. 
and cosine of 60, the cosine of 60, considering this 60 degrees, this is at the adjacent side. So if we try to take the cosine of 60, it should be this side here over the hypotenuse, which is 1 half. So actually, we do not need a calculator here, okay? By just uh, bringing out the memorized values of the spatial angles, we could derive the other values. For a sine of 45 degrees, it's an easy matter now. Considering this one, uh, this is uh, opposite side, this is hypotenuse, so sine of 45 will be 1 over square root of 2. And cosine will be 1 over square root of 2, they are the same. So because I place it here, sine of 45 and cosine of 45 are the same, and that is actually 1 over square root of 2. Meaning the adjacent side and the opposite side are actually 1, and the hypotenuse will be the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1. So the hypotenuse is actually square root of 2. So we do not need the calculator here, but by just by using by just using the special angles, we could brought out the values. So going back to the sine of 105 degrees, it will be sine of 60, cosine of 45, plus cosine of 60, sine of 45. Square root of 3 over 2 will be sine of 60. Cosine of 45 is actually 1 over square root of 2, plus Cosine of 60 is actually 1 half, so this is 1 half, and sine of 45 is 1 over square root of 2. Uh, there is a common factor 1 over 2 square root of 2 for both the first and second terms, so we factor out. So this is 1 over 2 square root of 2. First one will be square root of 3, second one will be plus 1. So if we try to combine, uh, even square root of 3, uh, if you're a mathematician or you've been a graduate of engineering, uh, we know the uh, approximate square root of square root of 3. It is 1.732. So actually, this is 1.732 plus 1. So this should be 2.732. Even square root of 2, okay, we may memorize that one. That, that is 1.414 times 2. That will be 2.828. So if we try to divide 2.732 divided by 2.828, the sine of 105 degrees is 0.659. It is plus. Okay. The sine of it should be plus because if we try to check it, uh, 105 degrees is somewhere here. Right? This is 105. So 180, this is 180, right? 180. It's 90. It's 0. This is 270. So 180 minus 105, uh, this is actually 75 degrees. Okay? The resulting angle actually lies in the second quadrant. So this should be a minus. And this is a plus. And if we try to take the sign, it should be a plus. Or, as always, the hypotenuse is a plus. So, actually, the, if we try to check the sign, it is a plus over a plus. We are taking the sign value, right? So, this should be a, a plus. So, sign of 105 degrees, for sure, the sign is actually plus. Because if we try to figure out a plus over a plus, is actually plus. Okay? Good afternoon, Plum, Los Angeles.